You are welcome to this tutorial. We are going to familiarize ourselves with the FortiGate Configuration Management Database API and learn how to interact with it. The CMDB API is used to retrieve and modify CLI configurations. For example, create, edit, or delete firewall policy. All CMDB requests start with slash API slash v2 slash CMDB slash. The URL path to perform an operation on FortiGate using REST API is the base path, followed by the path to the specific object in the database. Now let's begin. I have already configured the REST API admin in FortiGate with read-write permissions. I have also copied the API key that will be used to authenticate request. In Postman, I have my request collections. Postman collections are a group of saved requests. Collections in Postman can be arranged in a parent-child relationship. To create a new collection, click on New, Select Collections, and give it a name. Under a collection, you can create new requests. For every request, you need to choose at least the method and the URL path. It is more convenient to use collections than going to the history section to reuse a request. Another thing we can create in Postman is environment. To create a new environment, click on new, select environment, and give it a name. An environment is a set of variables you can use in your Postman requests. You can use environments to group related sets of values together. I have already created an environment called FortiGate. There are many environment variables created in it, but we will not be using all in this tutorial. To use a particular environment for a collection, choose it at the right-hand corner in the Postman window. Regarding authentication and authorization, I have created the FortiGate API key at the parent collection level. So all child collections along with their saved requests can inherit this setting. The key value here is referencing the access underscore token variable already defined in the FortiGate environment. Now let's begin to make some HTTP requests to FortiGate API. First, we want to get the list of all firewall addresses. The method is get. The host and the base URL are already defined as environment variables. Click on send to execute the request. Excellent. The HTTP response status code is 200, meaning the request has been successfully completed. You can see all firewall addresses configured on FortiGate displaying. By default, the VDOM is the root VDOM. You can enter another VDOM name as the VDOM key value when sending requests to that VDOM. You can also use the skip parameter with a value of 1 to skip inappropriate attributes. The format parameter can be used to define which attributes of an object should be displayed in the response. Here, the value of the format parameter key is already defined as an environment variable. We can also filter our request based on an attribute value. For example, all address objects with type IP range should be pulled.
The query parameter key called action, when set to the value default, returns the default attributes of a resource. But when you set the action key to the value, schema, then the response will be the schema of the resource table. Finally, we can request a firewall address by its name. In another video, we will learn how to create, clone, edit, and delete a firewall address using FortiGate API. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. See you next time.